Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and yes today you join me on Christmas Eve for another Forzathon guide. Now even though it is Christmas tomorrow the Forzathons will not stop coming so we want to get this out of the way so you can spend a bit of time with your family and enjoy some Christmas dinner. Now, this week's Forzathon called Jim Carner Special wants you to own and drive the 2016 Jim Carner 9 Ford Focus RS RX, which is a bit of a mouthful, but we're having a look at the car now. So this will set you back half a million credits in the auto show if you don't have one already, or you can try and pick one up in the auction house. Now, yes, this is available in the auto show, and if you have the welcome pack, you can see here that you can get one gifted for free in the auto show, or if not, you'll have to purchase it for half a million, or you might get lucky and find one in the auction house, but I'm assuming you guys probably have one anyway. Now, the first challenge here wants you to earn a total of 750,000 skill score. Now, you might notice that I've not done any tuning for this because you don't really need it. It's a pretty good card to get along with. Now, the first challenge, I'd recommend buying out a load of the perks because it will definitely help you out. And then heading over to the Greendale Airstrip, which I'm sure you know is where I normally do my skill score challenges because there's tons of stuff that you can do and it's very easy to rack up a lot of skill scores in this area in a very short period of time. Now this 750,000 skill score you don't have to get in one go, you can get it over the course of the week if you want to or a couple of days or you can just do it in one shot. Now if you have purchased a load of the skill perks there is one which gives you a 7x multiplier which is very very useful. So all you'll need is a total score of 107,000 then multiplied by 7 unless you've then got a skill score which will multiply by 14 which will be even better uh, or if it's just on its own it's still not tricky score to reach but the first challenge here like i said is very easy there's lots of jumps and sort of stunts and things you can smash into at this airfield so it's a very easy first challenge just a little time consuming now the next challenge here wants you to win three dirt scramble events now a dirt scramble is a circuit dirt race basically so i recommend heading over to the ambleside one the ambleside scramble now what i've done is created a blueprint and this is what i'd probably recommend you guys do just do it for one lap and then you just win that three times or if you don't want to do that you can use this one that I've created so the share code is 8010041451 and that's available for all of you guys to use now this race probably takes about 40 seconds a lap but like I said because we've changed it to one lap it will just take 40 seconds per race so all in all this challenge will only take you three four minutes to complete it's a really really easy one just win the race three times over and this is probably the quickest sort of scramble dirt race uh, in the, in the game unless you want to go and create your own one but a nice and easy challenge and like i said you don't really need a tune for this because the focus is pretty good anyway now for the final challenge, it wants you to get three, uh, six stars sorry, in total from Drift Zones. So again, this is really, really easy, and this is something that this Ford Focus has been built for. So to do this, I headed over to the Horizon Donut. Now three stars on here is only 30,000 points. So all you have to do if you get 30K on each run is just do two runs and then that's challenge complete. Now it doesn't matter if you don't get three stars on both runs, you can get two stars or one star, but you'll just have to do the sort of Drift Zone more times but this one is fairly easy and like i've said i'm just using the stock focus rs the hoonigan one so no tune needed it's pretty good at doing what it does best which is hooning around pardon the pun um, but it's a really easy final challenge and that shouldn't take more than two minutes uh, so really nice and quick final challenge and then it means that if you are doing this on christmas eve or even on christmas day you can go back to being with your family and enjoying christmas now I want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone for all of your support this year. Obviously this won't be the last Forzathon guide for the year that will come next week, but I want to say that you know everyone's support has been massive massive towards me. You know, I've I've really appreciated it so so much. So at the beginning of 2021 I will be doing a massive giveaway to show my sort of appreciation for all your support. But apart from that, I don't want to keep you any longer. I want you to enjoy your day if you are watching this on Christmas. I don't know where you would be, but maybe you are. Or if you are watching this today on Christmas Eve, make sure that you have a fantastic Christmas tomorrow. And I hope you get everything that you've wished for as well. But apart from that, folks, make sure you stay safe, take care of yourselves. All the best and a Merry Christmas.